this is Sarim Khan and first of all I would like to tell to you that I am not trying to teach anyone but I am trying to attempt all those J questions my own self and like this today I am going to attempt one more question and since we know this question is of J May 2019 ask it on 11 January in second shift the question asks us to us that if speed V acceleration A and force F are taken are considered as fundamental units the dimensions of Young's modulus will be since we know that the first option is V power minus 4 A power minus 2 F second is V power minus 2 A square F square third is V power minus 2 A square F power minus 2 and the fourth and the last option is V power minus 4 A square and F those are our options so now let's begin our solution Okay, so first of all, since we know we have to consider them as fundamental units. Since we know how many fundamental units there are, there are only seven fundamental units or base quantities we can say fundamental quantities that are length, mass, time, electric current, thermodynamic temperature, amount of substance and luminous intensity. But here question says to us, no, we don't have to take them as fundamental units. We have to miss change the ways of physics. We have to take those as fundamental units since we know those are generally derived units but those will be the fundamental units not length mass time those kinds of units they will be considered as fundamental units and then what will be the dimensional formula for Young's modulus okay this is, is asking to us so since we know Young's modulus we can denote by y so of course y will be proportional to the sum powers on v Okay, let us take power A. On A, let us take power B. And on F, let us take power C. Because since we know those are fundamental units, they are taken as fundamental units in the question. And this is a derived unit. Then, of course, any derived unit depends any how by proportionality it, it will depend on any fundamental unit. Okay, of course, it will depend. According to this, we have to solve it. Implies that Y equals to K v power a after that a power b and f power c why k came here of course because since we know it is the proportionality constant when we'll remove the proportional symbol then here k will fall okay uh, after the equals to with this it will be multiplied with this now we now only first of all what we'll be doing we'll find be finding out the powers of this powers of a b c so we need the dimensional formula for young's modulus that is ml power minus 1 t power minus 2 how it came of course since we know y equals to what is stress by strain is stress divided by a strain a strain is totally dimensionless so its dimensions we don't have to take so if we want we can also erase this if we want we can erase this because it has no dimensions okay but actually formula is a stress by a strain now here we can see for a strain what is force by area so force by area which is equals to what m l t power minus 2 divided by what divided by l square this is now l and l cancelled in l times so here l is square one so m l power minus one t power minus two this is the dimensional formula for young's modulus of elasticity this is m l power minus one t power minus two i have written here is equals to k is totally dimensionless constant so since we know k is proportionality constant then it will be dimensionless but sometime in some cases it happens such some uh, those proportionality constants have also units they also and we can call that they also have dimensions so just like we can take example universal gravitational constant it also has some dimensions you can also try to find out its dimensions okay so by the formula f equals to j m1 m2 by r square so let's come to our point this is dimensionless its dimensions we don't have to take of speed will be taking so lt power minus 1 now power a letter lt power minus 2 power b okay it's excellent this is for acceleration and letter for force ml t power minus 1 power c this is now we can compare it so which is equals to what so l is present l power a now here also l power b l power c so l power a plus b plus c this is letter t is so t power minus 1 into a minus a minus a now minus 2b 
and latter here is minus c after this what is m power only c this is now we have to compare those quantities since we know they are equal to each other we can easily compare now since we know m power 1 is equals to m power c hence c is equals to 1 c value very easily we got one next equation is right here a plus b plus c a plus b plus c is equals to minus 1 later since we know a plus b plus c is equals to minus 1 later minus a minus 2 b minus c is equals to minus 2 minus a minus 2 b later minus c minus c is equals to what it is equals to minus 2 this we got of course this we got now only c value already we have now what we have to do implies that c value we have got now we need the value of a what is value of a then solve those equations a value will come a equals to minus 4 later b value will come i think 2 b value is 2 of course b value comes out to be 2 now since c value already we have c value also let us write here c equals to 1 those are our three very important values and here let me write this which equation we had this equation neglect the value of k okay we do not have to take the k so y equals to okay because since we know it is dimensionless constant so y equals to v power a that is minus 4 later after that is a a power b that is 2 after that f power c 1 so since we know c value is 1 now 1 no need to write what is requirement of writing so no need to write since we know now first of all first option is v power minus 4 a power minus 2 okay and f since we know this is wrong option because since we know here this is matching this is matching but this since we know this is minus 2 and this we have got 2 so this is the wrong option okay second is v power minus 2 we already have v power minus 4 this is also totally wrong here is v power minus 2 again v power minus 2 this is also wrong but fourth is v power minus 4 okay v power minus 4 it is following our uh, okay calculations a square we have also got f we have also got hence option d is the correct answer so finally what we got that if we are choosing speed acceleration and force to be the fundamental units then the dimensional formula for Young's modulus of elasticity or simply Young's modulus will be v power minus 4 a square and f or we can also say f power 1. So this was matter is topic based over the dimensional formulas. Thank you.